When designing the perfect science classroom, we need to take many factors into consideration. The number of students served, the amount of space available, the types of technology to be used, and the needs of the teacher that will be using the space. Take a look at this rendering of a possible classroom layout. We start with a blank slate. Then we add in some large circular tables. The tables help create a team feeling between class members while still giving them enough room to spread out and work independently. Now adding in the seating, we can see there is easily enough room for the average class of 24 students. The teacher is the tour guide on this journey in education, and like all great guides, they need to be able to steer the ship in the right direction sometimes. At the front of the room, we give the teacher a control center for all the technology in the room. Tools at the educator's disposal include a digital tablet, a document camera, and the normal DVD type media player. Primarily, the teacher will need to be able to activate and control content on the four computer monitors that are housed in the center of each work table. Having the monitors built into the tables eliminates the need for LCD projectors that are not only expensive, but also tend to be higher maintenance items in the long run. Each pair of students will also be able to use the monitor in front of them independently from the other students in the room should the teacher allow them to. When not in use, the monitors retract into the table creating a more usable workspace. Rounding out the room is storage for curricular materials and display boards for student work. The corners of the room are perfect for storage cabinets and shelves while the ends of the room could fit the displays. This overall layout allows the teacher to monitor all the classroom activities and also gives the kids opportunities for unique educational experiences.